My name is Corinthia Hayes. I'm 27. I'm a Delta flight attendant, and I'm the founder of Ice Cream Melts Inc., a nonprofit for suicide prevention and mental health awareness. And I kind of got here because I felt like I needed to share my story with others. Um, I'm a suicide survivor, and once I learned how prevalent suicide was in today's world, I felt like my story would really help other people and people could connect to me in a way that they can't connect to therapists and psychologists. I felt like it was more real life. When I um, it's quite interesting what I do to take my mind off of life is go to work and work out, which I know are things that stress other people out, but going to work for me as a flight attendant is like pretending. It's like completely different from my regular life. It's glamorous, I'm dressed up, and I'm fully submerged in what other people have going on and where they're going and what they have going on, what they're wearing, their their lifestyles and their different, the different cities they live in, their environments. The most important thing for people to know who are suicidal is that they are not alone. There are always going to be other people going through what you're going through. There's always going to be resources and you're not the first one to feel the way that you feel. It's not normal in a sense for everyone else, but it's your normal and other people feel that way too. Um, the most important thing for others from the outside looking in to know is that when people are suffering from a mental illness, it is an illness. It's not something that they can control. It's a chemical imbalance in their brain and it's not their fault that they don't handle situations the way that you want them to or what everyone else thinks is normal or the right way to handle situations. I started Ice Cream Melts in 2014 after I heard rumors of a former classmate who had attempted suicide. And I just felt like if I had shared my story or told the truth to people when I had attempted suicide, then maybe he could have talked to me instead of going through the same thing. And I just decided it was time for me to come out and tell the truth and share my story with people and that's how I started my organization. One of the best things that Ice Cream Melts has given me the ability to do is talk one-on-one -on -one with people who are contemplating suicide or suffering from depression. Um, people see me being open and sharing my story and approach me or call me or DM me and I have these one-on-one -on -one conversations with people where I can connect with them and they become part of my support system and I become part of theirs. We have this mutual bond and understanding where we can talk about things that we're going through and kind of work our way through them and don't have a biased opinion. Ice Cream Milks allows me to be able to go into schools and share my story and talk to people about what I've been through and teach them about bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, um, eating disorders, addiction, and just everything mental health and kind of be that voice for them so they can understand, especially in the black community in Atlanta, that this is something that we deal with also. Um, ice Cream Melts has also allowed me to go to colleges and talk to people who can obviously relate to my story because my suicide attempt took place when I was in college. So I can really go there with them and they can connect with me because they're away from home. They feel all the feelings that I was feeling when I went through that and it just makes it more real for them to have me stand in front of them saying this is what happened to me.
you have mania and you have depression, major depression. And so I think most people know depression is like the low. Like that one's easy. It's like you can't get out of bed. You don't want to take a shower. You don't want to wash your clothes. You, you just are down. Like you don't want to do things that you normally do. You don't want to hang out with your friends. You just start to feel worthless and useless and hopeless. Um, you give up on your dreams. You can't see a point in doing things that you used to do. Mania is the opposite. Mania is when you're high, but high doesn't equal happy or in a good mood. High is like euphoric, um, invincible. Like you feel like you can do anything to the point where you're reckless. Like you don't need a lot of sleep. You don't you don't need you don't need anything for energy. Like you can do anything that you want for this short period of time that you're manic and for some people, like I know I've had times where I've been more promiscuous because I feel like I'm invincible. Nobody can stop me. Nobody can get to me. Um, I drive more reckless. I'm just more careless with things that I normally am more careful about. So it just makes you feel like you can do anything. And then once you get out of that, and most times it happens because you hit a wall or something happens because you were being careless that is so bad that you fall into depression. And so that's how the cycle goes. You go back and forth. And then of course there are times where you're in the middle and you're normal and comfortable.